Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Movies often have a particular look to them that sets them apart from the look of camera snapshots and videotape. Filters are used to give scenes a particular color cast. I'm going to show you how to create them from a normal looking snapshot. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Let's make a copy of this layer. To do this, press Ctrl or Command plus J. The first thing we'll do is decrease the saturation. Press Ctrl or Command plus U to call up the Hue Saturation window. For this photo, I'm decreasing the saturation to minus 76. Depending on the characteristics of your photo, you may want to adjust this number. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Exposure. The Exposure window will open. The default preset changes immediately to Custom as soon as you click to change any setting. I'll change the Exposure to 1, the Offset to minus 0.1, and the Gamma Correction to 0.65. Remember, you may want to adjust these numbers for your photo. Let's rename this layer Exposure. We'll make a copy by pressing Ctrl or Command J and then rename it Depth of Field. I'll explain Depth of Field in a minute. Go to Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. The Lens Blur window will open. We'll choose More Accurate. The shape of the iris is octagon. Its radius is 8. Its blade curvature is 0. And its rotation is 0. In Specular Highlights, the brightness is 1. The threshold is 38. The noise amount is 7. The distribution uniform and leave monochromatic unchecked. Then click OK. Click on the layer mask icon to create a layer mask. Call up your brush tool and choose a large size brush. I'm choosing 700 pixels based on the size of my document. I'm clicking once on the area I want to keep in sharp focus which is where the objects are on the top of the vehicle. The reason this is in focus is because we painted away the area of the layer mask to reveal the focus layer underneath. Notice the areas around it aren't in focus. This effect is known as depth of field, which cinematographers and photographers often use to bring the audience's attention to a particular area of the scene. Click on the new layer icon to create a new layer and press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with black. Change the blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity to 40%. Let's invert the foreground and background colors. To do this, press the double curved arrow or you can press the letter X. With your brush tool still active, brush over the middle area of the image, leaving the corners and edges alone. This creates a nice vignette look. Let's make a composite snapshot of the entire image and place it on its own layer. To do this, Press Control shift alt e or Command shift option e on a Mac. Let's rename it Comp for Composite. Next, go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. The amount is 5%, it's Gaussian, and Monochromatic is unchecked. We're going to crop our image to give it that widescreen look. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer, and call up your rectangular marquee tool. Click on the left edge of your document, one inch from the top, and drag out a rectangle to the opposite corner, one inch from the bottom. Press Control shift plus i or Command shift plus i to invert the selection. Let's fill the selection with black, and since black is our background color, press Control or Command plus delete. To delete the selection, press Control or Command plus D. We created an effective cinemagraphic look from a mundane snapshot. Let's give it a different look by adjusting its color balance. Click on the composite snapshot to make it active and press Ctrl or Command B to call up the color balance window. With the midtone selected, I'll slide the blue to plus 33. Next, I'll click on shadows and slide cyan to minus 16 and slide the blue to plus 17. Lastly, I'll click on highlights and slide cyan to minus 13 and slide yellow to minus 16 and click OK. Experiment with the color balance of your photo until you get the cinemagraphic look you want. 
Have fun transforming ordinary snapshots into exotic movie stills. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.